I'd like to speak to you. Okay. A visitor? I have all the company I need. Yep. I, I at this point, uh, it's more that like jokes. The Scientology <laughs> thing is a little. Amp, you come but... to hear about Varun, like the guards, like the keeper. I don't think it was a joke. Who got kicked out? It was an attempt at some genuine sympathy. The great I don't serpent know waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Anything you could tell us would be tremendously helpful. Buggy yes, the... I have spoken to your keeper about this. I don't know the I name. I don't know. I, I, I don't follow Scientology. And then you will leave so. me. Jinan Varun meets the I think it's mostly for saying shit about them that you shouldn't tip Jinan. out loud. I think is what happens. But such is Jinan's conviction like if you say shit in the that Great they... Serpent. Because you were under hesitate. NDAs like, whoa, he as a Scientologist. The but the unbeliever yeah, I, I thought so, but Jinan like, if you're not in one of their the compounds, it's harder for them to... Them, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 no, locations I didn't, of the planet I, I haven't been on. looking at it as much. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy. Uh, and delivers the killing blow. That is all. <laughs> you fucked the wrong alien? I mean, Xenu does not approve. Xenu does not approve. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the great serpent casts to deceive the faithless. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is See, not no. as important <laughs> as showing there is no doubt. I just can't believe that most people have found most things they know about Scientology speaking. from um, Leave me. from South Park. To discuss with you. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Heard the cabinets assembled some kind of elite anti-terror. Not Uncle Jesse. Didn't he, did he say, while they were kicking him out, did he go, have mercy? Jesus Christ, Socrates, why did you send me that? Why, Socrates? Why? Jesse and the Rippers. <laughs> this doesn't sound like humor. It sounds like nightmare fuel. Sounds like nightmare fuel. Fuck. Fuck. What's up, Nick? How you doing, buddy? It's for you. We should have a talk. When you have a talk. Bitch, I don't have time. Shush. Hey, wait a sec. Your record says you're a chef. It's Oscar Isaac. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. Yeah, I get that. Sorry. Can I help you? I get that. We don't mean to be intrusive. Any information you could provide would be very useful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and no, he looks like Oscar Isaac. Pilgrim, but since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative, humanitarian yeah. projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. I've never played Liza P. Wabba. 
A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call Zelda, him Zelda, do you want a tree? So they think he's a charity case at first, but Zelda. then the drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? He's already summoned. The founders here, respond, each individual must Zelda, understand how the second person Zelda. lifts them up. Come here. All of human Zelda. effort is a story of come cooperation here. pushing us forward. Come here. And it kind of goes here, on girl. like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, <laughs> that got abandoned that pretty noise? quick. Sure. After the records of the drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Rebirthing? Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. I do odd jobs at evening hours. Great shelves, sweet rewards. It's not much, but it's enough. Zelda, 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 Zelda. She is a lamb dog. Look at her. Everything seems like to a drink. lamb, Zelda. Then, I met Jane. A cappuccino Zelda. lamb? Now I don't. You might say he saved my life. In your weird lip flaps. I chased her around the house with a hairbrush this morning. She did not like. Gay's place is like a second home. She does not need an afro. I don't really have a first. She's very chill, Nick. Most of the time. Sometimes she gets all worked up. treat because you're being such a good girl. Kay's food is as close to home cooking as you'll find right here. I could pull off that look with the scarf and the bangs and everything. Yeah, she like, when she plays, she gets a little, like, you know, a little bouncy, know. but uh-oh, gives most how Teresa wants it down here. Don't you think? You're right. She pulled my headphones out. Here, Gizmo, you can have a treat too. I'm not much for prayer. Tried it once, didn't stick. But maybe it's like tape. I was just Ugh. on the wrong side. I don't know, Socrates. I don't have uh, plans yet. What's the word for that again? There you go. There's your treat, little boy. Nah, nah, nah. Don't look at me. I haven't done Take advantage of Gizmo appearances while I can. They do, say do, do. never okay. hire a man when a machine can do it for free. But down here. I have no idea what I learned from any of that because I was too busy dealing with Zelda. Wee, where am I going? Yeah, I don't know, Socrates. I've been, like, debating on it. Um, Always good to see another badge. I'm deb debating on... I have Pacific Drive to play still that Katie gives me on my birthday. KPP. Um, why is it not... No, I haven't done any, Nick. Why won't it let me... Why isn't it letting me open the door? I've got limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. We're no reliant medical death. Okay. Why won't she let me sell her random shit? You path of exile people. 
Okay, why isn't this letting me? Why? That's not very nice, uh, Socrates. Why? Why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? I mean, you could have rickrolled me, right? I, like, I really wish this game would, like, work. It's been out a year and a half, and, like, getting things where I can't use the fucking... What's up, Nana? Starfield's fucking around on me, and so... Do-do-do-do-do! What's up, Cal? How you doing? Yes, Socrates. Yes, I do. I think you would rickroll me at the first chance you got. Are you sure, Socrates? Oh, don't you know? God damn it, Nick. Why? Why? No, so I just can't use the elevator that they're telling me I can use. Why? God damn it. What are you fuckers doing? I'm gonna shit in all your cereals. You motherfuckers. I don't want a morning workout. I want to do my game and play it and it not like what? What the fuck is going on? Why can't I use this? When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. No, it's the the fucking point is on the elevator door. Yes, I'm sure. What's up, Hollow? How you doing, friend? God damn it. Okay. I guess I just have to return to the keeper. Who fucking knows, dude? It doesn't even say locked if that's the problem. Nice to meet you. I'll be back. Yeah, so that's supposed to be taking me to the the guy. I don't know what the fuck anything is without a waypoint. Sounds dangerous, Nick. Sounds like karma. Everyone in spacers? 
Sounds like karma. Where the fuck am I going? I'm trying to cut down. I know, but that's the game have issues never. As I say, yeah, you'd be up and down and up and down there. Giggity, up and down, up and down. Hey, wait a sec. Your record says you're weak. I think you're seeing the future again, Socrates. That's what it is. Dude, I can't, four energy drinks by 10.30 in the morning is pretty wild, Socrates. Wee, flying nana. Oh, don't you know? Oh, don't you know? That's called ADHD, uh, there, Socrates. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Did did he get hurt yesterday? I only watched till halftime. <clears throat> hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean two the cups second of coffee and two bowls of cereal. System. What else did you have? Two bowls of uh, two cups of coffee. If there really is a location the pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Oh no. Yes. Uh, you're very Was happy about that, infinity. Mr. Bears fan. Maybe right? yeah. that points to a name. If bears. we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in a system. But what's the name of the system? He looks like he has tiny whiteies on addendum. his head. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's, that's a lot of caffeine, Socrates. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum at four and 120. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Oh, Before nice, you go, dude, yeah. You've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? They also remind me of, like, they should be giving me a fortune. It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Ancient humans thought the concept of gravity was miraculous. 
Until we know more about the Unity, we also could be jumping to the wrong conclusions. That doesn't mean well, it's good for your heart, Socrates. I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. I have something I need to discuss with you. What do you want, bitch? Look, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact oh, that you risked you know? your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. Then I'll say it again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Sam's life. He was one of my closest colleagues. And a cherished friend. Oh, poor Queen. I'm not saying that you can't have vices. Sure I'm saying don't overdo it and give yourself a heart attack, She's Socrates. She's lost a wonderful father. <laughs> I really wish I could believe that. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown, but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. T yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries, not appreciating the true cost of my actions. <sighs> Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened I was watching all, Zeke play yesterday. What's up, Drew? Alive. It looks amazing, Kel. Oh, that's what I might play. I might play the original and then get to that one. Of course I can. Damn of it. course I can. Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? No. I refuse to allow Sam's death to be attributed to bad luck. It isn't fair. The question is, Shut up, where Daenerys. do we go from here? She looks we like stop Daenerys. exploring. Stop pushing the boundaries. Take a more aggressive posture towards the universe. I don't know where to begin. Oh, I suppose you're right. I just hope we don't make the same fatal mistake twice. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for Yeah, now. that's what I'm going to play after this. I'm going to play the Space oh, Marines. It was a I, I started it, the, the first open. one, and I'm I was having sorry, problems with my I CPU. I so angry. But I assure you, it's nothing personal. You're the only one I feel comfortable talking with about these things. Oh, don't you know? Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me feel a lot less guilty about monopolizing your time with my own problems. Well, we have a long road ahead of us. I suppose it's high time we get back to work. I have something I need to discuss with you. I just talked with you, bitch! Well, hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? How you doing, Drew? Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off doing the good, hook buddy. would have been a terrible injustice. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different mm, conversation. Coffee. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. No, it certainly isn't, especially when it comes at the expense of human and motion. lives. There you go. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. We should have a talk. When you have really, a bitch? Why? Talk to me all at once. Talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No. 
What's up, Ice Bunny? Underwear head is the guy behind us watching us, Socrates. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Damn. Oh, I suppose your mind couldn't handle the sensory input. Bitch, Don't be shut disappointed. The, fuck up. I wanna go exploring. the exactly, artifacts Nick. are clearly beyond our current understanding. Shouldn't you be like mothering dragons? <laughs> true, true. Mother your dragons. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts exactly, are so Exactly, Drew. So alien. <laughs> and I'm certain I one of them reached out to me. Me, 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 Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply, and believe me, I've been you trying to, take to get that guy out, on the damn he, things like, for years. It will get me in trouble. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... No. Oh, well. You know, I've never, I haven't, I've seen Never Ending Story. It's just been like 30 years since I've seen Never Ending Story. Are they making another Never Ending Story movie? I haven't seen that movie in so long. What's up, Claw? We're in here. And like, it's turning into a claw stream. This bitch won't like shut this. up. It's just like all talking. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for uh. keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, yeah, well, I'm pleased. To Turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. You're not gonna tell me you need to talk to me again, bitch. Fuck. Hey, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Wasn't the thing with the horse from not? I, I thought Never End was the movie with Tom Cruise. That was the horse thing. What was the Tom Cruise movie with with Tim Curry as Satan? Legend. Yeah, wasn't that the horse thing in that movie? Was that? God, I've not watched Never Ending Story in so long. I've never seen Legend. Okay. Well, I haven't watched either one. I've never seen Legend, and I haven't seen Never Ending Story in 30 plus years, so. Yeah. I'm not playing a. You want me to drown in the swamp, VR? You want me to drown us off? I heard the like someone told me recently they rewatched that and it's the most depressing movie ever. I don't know. I mean I have a horse cock, yes, we are, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I just want, you know why I would watch Legend Claw? Because I want to see Tim Curry as uh, Satan, that's all. Of course you could be a little bit bitchy, Ice Bunny. Why is there just like a dead dude just like sitting here? Do you have anything valuable? Ah, uh, nobody needs your security uniform, right? You're good, okay, cool. What's the only thing that beats a woman with a beautiful singing voice? Oh, God. Isaac Hayes? I don't know. Or, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Uh. We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't want any terrible stuff to do. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. 
Okay. I'm sure you can find something you like. Bobby Brown, that's probably what I was, yeah, that's what I think it was, I was leaning towards. How many credits do I have? 151,000. Why are these like, can I not, what the fuck is going on? No, the ship, I'm on a, How much does the ship cost? Tom Cruise has done some good shit. He's crazy as fuck, but. <laughs> Why isn't it telling me how much the ships cost? I'm sure you can find something you like. Wow, it's 250? I'm not even close to that thing. Jesus Christ. I guess I'm two thirds of the way, but. Have fun, Anna. Uh, Clara, are you back to, uh. Are you back to, Looks um. To me like you're already in pretty good shape? What do you call it? Uh, Bloodborne on Monday? Okay, no problem. You're not sorry? <sighs> Why? I have three ships? When did I get a third? When did I get this fucking thing? When did I get this ship? What the fuck did this come from? What's up, Tilly? Oh. I don't even like I don't even know why I have a new ship. I'm not a god damn you. God damn you, Socrates. What then? So I can't upgrade my engines or. What is this first weapon? Suppressor? Okay. I guess I have a new ship that I didn't know I had. Tap something you might be I interested in. Don't think I stole it, Vial. What how would I steal a ship? I've only ever left on my own ships. God damn it. God damn it, VR. I'm gonna fire you. I don't think I stole the ship, but... I don't fucking know. Unless this is the ship of the guy who had that part. The artifact part. Yeah, I streamed all of BG3, Mr. Claw. What's up, Kinger? How you doing, friend? 
I even rage quit in one of the streams claw and uh uninstalled it. I'm doing good, buddy. Yes, yes, we do. I am so sorry about this. Some of us get a little testy. I have to get those double back. Dude, they, I used to get them in my doctor's oh, office, my and the last time I went to my doctor's I'm office, they're like, yeah, we're not uh, giving them out in the office anymore. Why? <laughs> we'll just see about that, won't we? Fuckers. Tilly, right. Tilly, Tilly. Uh, I'm never gonna hear this. Yeah, probably gonna go to CBS. Thanks for your help. Make your way. What? In the name of sweet baby why did i go to like the next spy fucking the fuck Beautiful bastard. Welcome back to the run. Oh hell. Yes, no. Appreciate you, Claw. Why isn't it let me go? What in God's name is going I hate when it does that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Cheers! My hair is crazy today. This is Faraday's budget tours. I have a request from people on the ship to talk with an actual ship captain. I'd appreciate it if you Makes sense, Bob. I'm uh well, surprise you returned I have Should I blow up the the, the, the ship of space tours? I'm still talking with the captain. <laughs> Organize everyone into a queue. Are you sure you're up for this? This is a really fun crowd. By the way, I've been listening to this book, Dr. Claw, that is amazing and I love it. And if you, I, I need a Dr. Claw Knucklebones audiobook because I actually get through books with audiobooks. But um so it's called Dungeon Crawl Dungeon right. Crawler Carl. And That's it quicker. is basically is you combine the Hunger Games like with Dungeons and Dragons and you know that episode of South Park where they uh where they uh they're canceling Earth because it's an Earth reality show for aliens it's like those three things combined Man, that sounds so glamorous. yes I want to be knuckled bone by claw sure I need his knuckles deep really no Dr. Claw has written two books questions. and the first book is called knuckle bones and it's really good. I just ADHD out and reading at night because I'm ADHD as fuck. Oh dear lord. Articulate and wealthy. Intriguing. But yeah, you should read uh, Dr. Claw's book. Like I said, called Knucklebones. If you could make the damn 
politicians fix one thing about it? What did it be? Uh. Captain, for the, uh, welcome break. I've got a question. Is it true captains have someone in every port? <laughs> you know, a special someone? For l'amour? Or so You don't have to answer that. I knew it. I knew it. That's all. Everyone settle back in your seat. Cut the interval? <laughs> you have the patience of a saint. This tour group is very energetic. Here's some credits for giving them such an authentic experience. This is your captain. Oh, don't you know? It's We're no problem, young lady. Oh, don't you know? Remember, we'll be in Neon in five days, so don't spend all your money yet. Astral Lounge, here I come! Dear Lord. Do, do, do. Me and Claw are the same person, but Claw is an extrovert, uh, introvert, and I'm an extrovert, and besides that, we're pretty much the same. Claw writes actual novels, I write books of poetry. Yeah, I hope you feel better, Mr. Kyle. Fire up your hand scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalog. Oh, don't you know? Not uranium. You think you guys think that uh, Claude? Do you think that uh, D, uh, DP is gonna finish up uh, Cyberpunk before the end of the year? <laughs> and who's gonna? I think I'm pretty allergic to a lot of shit, random shit. Fuck. Where's my damn quest? Did they just like take my quest off? No, nobody does. DP is a individual like no other. What am I supposed to do? Just scan shit? Uh... 
So I have to read the book? The credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them. But I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself, after all. I hope that for their sake that they may someday understand, but for, for my sake, I wish to be left alone. That is, um... I find myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is notable? That road does seem gratifying. Every step is one of intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the pleasures and seeing a more contented version of myself in the future. Then for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embrace the twinges of compassion I feel in my heart and let myself care for the people who seem to be or who seem to gather about me wherever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died, that road also seems gratifying. I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here's the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about saying and building something that feels the the feeling endures, there's something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I'm grateful for this time I've taken to noti uh, notice it. He's playing. Uh, he's playing uh, cyberpunk. Oh, it's like little jellyfish. It's cool. Jellyfish. So are these more of their, those books in here? Got more space notes so we can read them while we poop. I'm, I ain't crazy. Oh, that game is long as fuck for sure. I mean, I streamed it last year, I think it was. Because there are more places with, like, stuff in here. I don't see anyone else in here, but... Dude, I don't understand how he does that. It Like, I can't do that. So here's the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance. I need workers. I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine, or they want have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to get to let alone. I want them to understand. So I try gently as I might to nudge their minds along the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is what that I generally care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. I mean, he is, but like, I don't know how he does it. I literally don't know how he does it. Today in a soft voice, my assistant asked if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question it was asked honestly and i and i answered as best i could but if even my closest confidant here can t fail to grasp the most basic of these truths why am i bothering to explain any of it to any of them every word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up misheard misremembered misunderstood and mistranslated before i can issue the slightest clarification people are necessary but people are madness I attempted to withdraw, to go off alone, to commune with the unity in my own way. They followed. Of course they followed. Is this the fourth book? At last, a bit of peace. A piece of peace. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? Have they driven me mad at least? Or at last? 
Is there a difference between writing to myself and writing or talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own and that even if it only exists, that is sufficient for me to believe in any, everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time I act alone for now. Myself as a formidable opponent, I should have expected as much. But Vanny is, thankfully, not among my vices. Regardless, it turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man. Or whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you do that. Hope you've calibrated that thing. Um, is that enough to figure out what the fuck is happening? Okay. So as, as soon as we answer a question wrong, it stops. Okay. 